Hello there and welcome to another video about X keys and how to integrate their USB devices with your Skyhoy products. We have a vMix installation today. We also do have an Airfly Pro. I'm in my home office. I'm connecting to vMix in the headquarters some kilometers away from here via a VPN. And yes, Skyhoy technology can also do that. The Airfly Pro is connected on the USB port on the back side to a X keys USB GPIO device. And this one is connected to a little LED because we are going to make a tally lamp using this device. When you receive that, or just because they were nice to me, they printed out this one. So in Windows, there is an application where you can assign which of these pins on the USB GPIO are inputs and which are outputs. We don't know inside of Reactor where we'll configure, uh, configure it today. We don't know, so you need this kind of paper. You need to set this up yourself. This can be done by following X keys um, instructions for doing so. But we will now associate this LED on this um, USB GPIO with an input source on your vMix system. All right, so let's just check the vMix. It is running on TeamViewer on our showroom at the headquarters of Skahoy, far away from here, so just so you know. And a uh, quick thing, this is a clean installation of the Airfly Pro. So the first thing, it automatically selects ATEM, but we'll really just quickly go to vMix, and then we'll set up a vMix system too. So we'll just search up vMix here, pick vMix 26. I need to know the IP address of the vMix computer. Unfortunately, it does not auto-discover. Hope vMix will add that at some point so that we can find it automatically, but it is now connected. And we'll also see, I can see that on the Airfly Pro that it is actually um, connected now to the vMix system. So I can um, select uh, preview and active source and I can uh, do cut, I can uh, do a transition with the T-bar, uh, auto, etc. So all that is in place now. So the next thing I want to do is to uh, basically add the GPIO device and it can be discovered on the network. It's called XP underscore X keys. XP is for external panel. Most other panels are called SK underscore, which is Skahoy panels. So these are external panels. X keys are converted into a raw panel device that is discoverable on this IP address and port on the network and we'll just select this one. And it's gonna be added to our configuration, as you can see. So now we have two panels managed by the Airfly Pro. And uh, just a little bit of background, so you know, before it will pop up like this, you need the X panel X keys application installed. So if you do that, more or less with the default settings, it is going to detect whatever you plug into the USB-A port. You also need to go to the settings page and make sure that the USB-A is enabled for the device you're working on. So a few preconditions. And by the way, much of that, if not everything, is actually explained here on the X keys raw panel page on our wiki. So go to wikisky.com and you'll find which devices are supported, how it works, how you can use a USB hub to connect all of them, how it, it's possible to um, inspect it using Raw Panel Explorer. That is an application we've developed that lets you find raw panel devices on the network and see what they are and how they look. This explains everything. We have videos linked to how to get started on it, how the configuration works. You are not left alone. There's a ton of help that explains all of this and how to get a license as well, which is required to actually run it. Okay, so all that is on our good Viki page. Now let's go to the configuration because what we really want to do is to configure this one. So to be successful in that, we need, oh, I need actually to se select the new configuration. We need to create like a new configuration file for our GPIO device. So let's just do that. Call it X keys and, ooh, okay. So we'll just do that. Yes. There we go. Go back to configuration here. It is uh, already selected. Okay, that's nice. So let's uh, maybe zoom into it. There we go. Now, um, on my actual configuration here, I have attached the LED to pin number six. All right. So on pin number six, I will now associate that with program preview. So uh, we'll uh, select it for program. And then we'll pick mix row number one. So basically, this LED should light up when mix row number one is uh, on uh, or lighting up. So um, that's basically done now. And uh, all we need to do is to basically check. Uh, can the simulator do this? 
I'm afraid it can't. So the simulator is not super helpful here, but then to the rescue, my phone, so that we can see if this LED is actually working. So um, what, what we would like to do is in the simulator to see the actual panel so that we can see, okay, the LED is not on. Do we agree the LED is not on? Let's try input number four, three, two, and one. Oh, it's not. Um, after a little bit of bug fixing, I found out what was the root of my disappointment. As usual, it's a human error. What I needed to do in my configuration of IO number six is not just to select set program and the mix row, but I also need to select which input. Maybe some of you guys saw that. It's sometimes useful to have multiple eyes on the same thing, but I need to select it's input number one. So mix row and input number one, and then this IO pin is associated with that input. So let's check again with the simulator and my phone if this will become our new tally LED. Green as it is, it should be red, yeah. Three, uh, three two, and now. Yes, it turns on. What if I use the cut button? On, off, on, off. So there you go with the um, USB GPIO from X keys and a simple LED connected to this one. And of course you can have many more connected to these pins. I just do a super basic setup here. So I'm sure that you guys immediately know how you'll expand this to something more useful, fitting whatever you do. This is just um, how easy it is to integrate that interactor to have such GPIO functionality coming straight out of your Airfly Pro's USB back uh, port on the backside. All that being said, Skyhoy have Tally solutions as well. They are network enabled. We have Ethernet GPI link. We have the Tally box with um, Tally lamp. So we have full systems that are also easy to integrate. We're just giving you options. And that's what we think is very important to you guys because there are so many personal preferences on how to set up and run video productions. So uh, we want to be a part of that. We want to invent the future of live production control. And this is some of the steps we're taking in a direction that sets you free to do things your way.